I was 42 looking at 43 when I went into the system. I came out at 70 looking at 71. All the time I did in prison, every day I thought about my victim and the victim's family. My children are all grown and have families of their own, and their families have families of their own. And 27 years have passed by. Coming outside at my age, I didn't know what I was going to do. Where am I going? I was blessed to be accepted into Providence House and moved to Coney Island. There's eight rooms here for women transitioning out of prison. It's temporary living. If it wasn't for Providence House, I'd have been looking at going into a shelter. I found myself with two nuns that I just adore and a garden. And two blocks from here is the beach. I found a lot of peace here. I was in a very abusive situation. It turned into a real nightmare. There was a struggle, and I shot him. I knew when I went home that night I was going to jail. I stood before the judge's bench, and he sentenced me to 25 to life. I have six daughters. And as the years go by, your children grow up and move on with their lives. My hardest time came when my daughter was misdiagnosed. She fought a three-year horrible battle with stomach cancer. When she got sick, I couldn't go to her. It created a hole in me. She was 35 when she died. I was totally shattered. I decided that I was going to do the best I could within the walls for my victim, for his family, and for my own children. For me, the education was my springboard. I got my GED, then my bachelor's, and then I moved ahead and got my master's degree. For most of my life, I was told that I, I was stupid. And I found out that I wasn't. I started developing programs, anger management, losses, bereavement programs, adolescent programs. I mean, people do change. And they change because it's a choice. Inside, I was a leader and mentor, and people came to me. Coming out, it was reversed. It's wonderful being free, but it's, it's already very challenging. It's like a child learning to walk. I applied at Macy's. I went through an interview process. All they wanted to know about was the crime. And they were equal opportunity employer. All I was applying for was a retail job. That was it. Being turned down because of my background, it's not that easy. Even if you walk around with a smile on your face, you don't know what's behind that smile. There's a lot of sadness. How was your day? Uh, my day was fine. How was yours? Uh, you know, it could have been better. It's like everything, you know, looking for jobs, looking for apartments. It's the same thing, the same story. It's always my criminal background keeps me out. Um, and then Shake Shack, I was mm -hmm. interviewed. What they're looking for is younger people. Mm -hmm. It just is crazy for me. Kind of reached a point of 
What am I going to do? Just uh, take one step at a time, and I think things are going to work out very well for you. Thank you, sister. I'm going to go um, change, well, take yeah. a shower. Yeah, good, good, good. And I'll good. see you for the news right. and RT. Right, that's right. Okay, that's it. I'll be ready. <laughs> Fortune Society supports people like myself coming out. So I think what I'm better off doing is going to Fortune. And hopefully, through Fortune, I'll, I'll be able to find employment. I hope this works out, because I really need that job. Miss Cutting, uh, basically, I wanted to sit and talk with you, see, touch bases, see how everything is going with you. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm very jazzed about okay. this whole process. Nice. I tried to go off on my own when I first came out because I was trying to find employment first, which that took a header right away. Because <laughs> uh, they always look at background checks and that, and uh, it really, I live in the real world most of the time. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I never thought it would be that difficult. Coming home after doing 27 years, you already have a huge barrier in terms of going out there and securing employment. Your background alone, your criminal background alone is a barrier. Um, your age is a barrier in the eyes of most employers. Um, technology is a barrier. I don't want you to be discouraged. Just come with me. We will walk you back. Hello, how you doing? Good afternoon, sir. Okay, good to see you. You're here for an employment program, is that correct? Yes, it is. All right, how about we start getting some paperwork done on you? And uh, welcome to Fortune. And Thank I'm just going to ask you some pretty easy questions. What do you think would be an ideal work situation for you? Give me some sense of where, where your thoughts are on that. Um, well, I, I like doing, I like working with people oh, okay. and helping sure. people. The employer will know that you have been away in jail for some period of time. They are very good about working with, with our clients that we refer to them. And, and you, I think you will find you will get a great deal of support. I have already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love being here. I will always call this home. While we are not pushed out until we certainly have our feet on the ground and have a place to go, we have to keep in mind we have to look for a place to live. <laughs> 